Well, welcome back into Talking Fitch for your day from the Department of Egg Trade Consumer Protection. It's our friend Michael. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. You are, you are you're tasked with uh, talking about Weight and Measures Week, uh, Wisconsin Businesses Measure Up. This is an interesting topic, and we've we've discussed a little bit of this. And um, by no means are you the glorified expert in this area. You got some really really awesome people that uh, do some amazing things here. But today we're going to highlight uh, some of the things that uh, these folks do. Uh, as this week uh, is uh, March first through the seventh is when you kind of highlight it. Mm -hmm. Back in 1799, Michael, pick it up from there, buddy. <laughs> well, uh, March second, 1799, the first weights and measures law was signed. And we now celebrate that law and that signing every week because we've continued that program and that level of, we'll say, consumer protection here mm -hmm. in Wisconsin mm -hmm. ever since. So 225 years later, we're still out there making sure that we're measuring those devices and those different scales so that consumers get what they're paying for. What are the areas uh, that, that they're, they're protecting you or, or when it comes to weight and measures? Where are the areas that they're focused on? Well, the ones that are probably most well known are the fuel pumps. Uh, next would be the probably the gas. I'm sorry, the uh, grocery store, the retail registers, and then also those scales. You know, measuring produce or meat, or even then also the packaging. Are you actually getting 12 ounces or 16 ounces of what the packaging says? Uh, that is the most commonly known ones, but there is a wide array of different types of scales and measurements they do. You know, for instance, jewelers. You know, such a small, finite level of measurement, but they're out there making sure they're measuring those scales because the the price per gram on that is it's very, very high. So of course we want that to be on point. And it says here in 2023, weights and measures staff conducted over 226,000 inspections over 5,000 and uh, 5,500 businesses in Wisconsin. Uh, wow! <laughs> right. How? <laughs> <laughs> and wow. that, is, that is boots on the ground, <laughs> standing at the location, conducting physical inspection and verification. Are they like, uh, like use flying cars? And they don't use flying cars. Else, like to get to point A to point B? I mean, uh, how is it done? Well, first, you can tell that they're very busy. Uh, <laughs> but in addition, we also partner with some municipalities throughout the state who will also, uh, we train them, we certify to make sure that they understand what the requirements are. And then they'll go out on our behalf and they'll contribute to this 226,000 inspections. But it gives us a much wider footprint so that we can make sure that it's not, you know, just here or there random sampling that everyone really is protected. How do, if we wanted to, we were sort of questioning uh, a business and, and what, what's going on, whether we didn't get the gas or like, why is this way so, like, this can't weigh that much, you mm -hmm. know, at, at, the, at the checkout counter at the grocery store. How is somebody supposed to go about, go about trying to get a hold of you guys and say, hey, I think this is wrong? <laughs> well, before you get a hold of us, the first thing we like everyone to do is if it doesn't scan correctly at the register or you think that it's not weighing right, please give the store an opportunity, bring it to their attention and say, hey, can they correct the price because it wasn't correct? Or <clears throat> the scale appears to be, you know, weighing it off. Let them uh, know about that and give them a chance. If you think that there's a pattern or, you know, you've gone to the store three times in a row now and it hasn't scanned correctly, give us a call. You can call our Bureau of Weights and Measures at 608-224-4942. You can also give our Bureau of Weights and Measures uh, and drop them an email at DATCAP, Weights and Measures, at Wisconsin.gov. They'll be happy to answer any of those questions you're talking about. And if you want to file a complaint, they'll let you know how to do that. I didn't get to ask this because I was thinking of that question, but I want to go back here and just th throw out some of uh, the numbers that they found during inspections because it's got to, it makes it feel like, okay, we're okay right. <laughs> for the places that they made it to. Uh, so break it down for us and some of the inspections and the, how accurate these places were. I, I appreciate the opportunity. I love mm -hmm. these. I think that the numbers really do create that sense of, I think, confidence that when you're buying something, you're getting what. And the first one is those fuel pumps. So you're standing there gas and you're wondering, am I really getting a gallon uh, and throughout all of those inspections they found that the on average the pumps were 99.6 percent accurate that's pretty well, awesome that's pretty that's pretty good i would agree we also those scales that we talked about for weighting those you know the meats or the fruits those also were 99.6 percent accurate so your pound of grapes is a pound of grapes 
Uh, last is the pet or third is the packaged products sold by weight you know so those are the things that are bagged up you know they what they do is they actually open them up they measure them they scale them so are you truly getting what the product is inside uh, they they go through a lot of those tests and samplings and they found that those were 98.6 percent accurate and then last were those scanners at the checkouts you know those ones where we're running through and is it scanning up and is it matching and they found that those were 96.8 percent so you'll see that number is a little bit lower but it's still 96.8 percent accurate which is very hard and if i recall we did have you guys had a report out on a specific store that didn't scan correctly so i mean it for the checks and balances that are out there i mean there are results that are turning you know you're getting good results, I guess, and you're, you're keeping that enforcement there uh, for, for whatever business uh, yep. that's, that's taking part in this. It re, it's great. You know, we did have a particular retailer where we saw this, with, uh, the accuracy wasn't quite where we wanted it to be, and uh, we continually saw that number be a little bit lower. And so we worked with them directly and said, hey, we're starting to see a pattern here. Uh, we brought them back into compliance, found some corrective actions to make sure that it stays in place. And ultimately, all that is done so that when consumers are there, they're getting what they pay for. Yeah, that's big, and I mean, appreciate the the two hundred and twenty six thousand inspections. That's incredible. Also, whoever the person is that has to do like individually, you know, for the weights of just products and stuff. I mean, I don't know. Do they ever leave the the shop, so to speak? The, they do. <laughs> it's incredible. They do. It's it's actually pretty neat because you know they have those standardized, but then also. Uh, here in the state of Wisconsin, we have a newly recognized, it's called Echelon 2, and it's a higher level of uh, measurement and scrutiny in which we can verify things at a smaller scale. And so what we found is that not a lot, not uh, all states have that ability to measure things. We even have other states relying on us and sending in their base units of measurement for certification and verification. So we're, we're leading the way. All right, well, Michael had said the number uh, before. I'll say it again, 608-224-4942 or emailing uh, if you have questions uh, or comments. I mean, obviously, as you had said, give the, the business a chance to, to right. correct uh, at, at hand, but more importantly, if you do want to report, there's places to report. And I've asked you many times, is it important to report these <laughs> things? And you're like, yes, it is. So it is, always. you got to do that. Uh, if people do want to learn more about uh, the great work that's happening here with uh, these folks or just consumer protection in general, work can they find you? DATCP.wi.gov. You can get to us at the Bureau of Consumer Protection or one of our partner bureaus with Weights and Measures to learn more about everything we just talked about. Incredible work. Incredible work. And there's a lot of things that are happening at DADCAP that it you really just is. don't know, really know. Right. Uh, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much, Michael. Tell those folks thank you for me personally. That's incredible. I'll pass it along. Thanks, Jeremy.